Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 88. Luke is being delusional again. <laughs> Pero, uh, dito na realize ni 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 Yuga na they really have to do something about Go's dual system being potentially getting overloaded and shutting down. Okay? It's imminent. Punta sila sa um, sa taas ng Goha HQ upon Neil's upon Neil's suggestion na well, gamitin dapat ni Luke yung kanyang poly effect. Yung 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 daddy yung ganun. Nope. Miniscule lang yung effect ng ng poly ni uh, ni Luke. Ang nadamay lang sa pagpo-poly effect niya si Kaiso at isang vending machine. <laughs> Pero meron daw siyang nakitang device na na pwedeng mag-amplify sa sa power na ito ni Luke. He located it under um uh, under Go 7 Elementary. So, puta sila doon. Ngayon, in order to help them out, pinak- pinakiusapan ni Neil ang Machine Cavalry Duel Club ni Asana na tumulong. Ayun. They were able to excavate the area. Nakita nila yung parang trap door papuntang basement na yun kasi doon daw nakita. To everyone's surprise, pumunta rin yung lelong ni Luke at si Tiger. Yan, nagtaka si, nagtaka si Luke. Uy, teka. Paano kayo nakapunta dito? Paano nyo nalaman to? Meron doon kasi secret entrance from from the Camillo from the Camillo Manor to that place. So, nalaman pa nyo rito na yung uh, there's a huge door that requires uh, a special key to open it. That key is Tiger's Brass Knuckle. So, ginamit niya. Excuse me. Eventually, wala sila nakitang special device dito sa basement na to. All they found were were defective watches na ginawa ng ng uh, ng company na pabamayari ng family ni Luke. And well, all of a sudden, um, Tiger found it amusing. And and I don't know, from out of nowhere, Sinumbatan niya rito si Yuga. And well, sinong unang nagalit? Walang iba kundi si Luke. He, well, Yuga, well, being, being the passivist that he is, hindi, he didn't take offense to it. He didn't take offense to it. But Luke absolutely did. So, final scene, nagkakamon na ng duelo ang kapatid. Let's just break this episode down. Critics style style. Parang baka medyo, maybe we can um, maybe we can uh, maybe we can shed some more light into the subject. Pace. I got nothing to say when it came to the pacing of this episode. It was slow all throughout. It was almost to the point of dragging. Bakit? Kasi. Onga. Um. Well. If there's anything. This episode will tell you is this. Otis is is the real villain here. Pero I still found it dragging. I still found the episode dragging. So, you know what's happening about the pacing? Flow naman. I saw only two gear shifts here, folks. The first one is of course nung kinidnap si Gohayuga. Ah, uh, gulat ko ay. Oh. Teka, sino ba kikidnap dito? Eh, isang, isang kinatatakutan ngayon eh. Oh, it's a no-brainer of a gear shift, folks. Kasi, through this, you can now, you can now safely deduce that Go Yuga isn't the real big bad here. Final gear shift is of course the final scene. Yung, ayun, nagka, nagkahamon na ng duelo. Si, sila, sila Tiger at Luke. Again, no brainer of a gear shift. Pero, um, oh, I'll give credit for credit is due first, mga ka-lifestyle. It was the only exciting moment in this episode. 
Kasi, uy, duelo. That's what I'm talking about. Gumagano na ako eh. Gumagano na ako when I was watching the episode. Pero, bakit hanggang hamon lang? Uh, nevertheless, it's still a gear shift. So, these two gear shifts that I saw, both of them will play a role down the line uh, uh, down the line in this, uh, in this Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Plot-wise, Mm. Yeah. No, you know, no side stories or back stories required because Otis made an appearance and declared that, yep, he's behind it all along. So, malinis ang plot, mga ka lifestyle. I gotta hand it to I gotta hand it to this episode. So, pace, flow, and plot. If it weren't for the clean plot and the gear shifts, it's a decent episode. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 88, yung pacing talaga sumira eh. Like I told you oh, uh, three seconds ago, mga ka-lifestyle, yung pacing ang sumira sa episode na to. Because, kung um, dinagdagan nila ng first few turns ng magiging duel nila, Luke at Tiger, this could have been a one thumb up episode for, for sevens. At least, a one thumb up. I think this was this was the very first time a Yu-Gi-Oh series ended this way. Sa pagkakaalam ko ha, kasi uh, I've been a Yu-Gi-Oh fan since uh, since 2006. I've seen Duel Monsters, I've seen GX and all the rest. I have until this episode wala akong nakitang episode na nagtapos ng ganito. Na hanggang hamon lang sa duelo. They would, they would always include They would always include One to two turns At least yung Yung first turns ng bawat uh, ng, ng bawat duelist Na involved sa, ba, involved sa duel At least ganun But Yeah I think Bridge made a um, Made a questionable call here Dapat nag-include sila ng Ng first yung first turns ng nila Tiger at, at Luke each para medyo um papiyaw na big na oh, bigyan tayo ng idea on how the duel will progress at least pero wala hanggang hamon lang eh yeah the pacing um ruined the episode kaya ganun lang ang rating ko guys so again Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 88 Lai Ganyan talaga Sa mga ng basic Patreon Wait for my next upload regarding this Yu-Gi-Oh! series And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD Chill lang muna kayo dyan And in the meantime Enjoy the next review